retiring in a down market can be one of the scariest things you'll go through in your life. I understand that. I also understand that we're in a down market right now. We have been for some time. And so here's the thing. How do you help insulate yourself in your portfolio when you need to access money in retirement and asset prices are decreasing? So it all comes down to a retirement income plan. I'm gonna go through some steps today, some things that you might wanna consider if you're close to retirement or even if you've already retired. So first things first, uh, in a retirement income plan, the ideal scenario is that you create enough guaranteed sources of income to pay the bills. So I say it all the time, everybody's got a certain amount of money coming in, a certain amount of money going out when they get to retirement. And if it looks like this, I have a social security check, I have pensions, and it exceeds what my day-to-day -day monthly expenses are, you feel pretty good because to meet the bills and exist, you don't necessarily need to tap into the portfolio. And so you're probably a lot less concerned. So if you get to retirement and you're looking like you're gonna be upside down, here's what I have coming in every month, maybe a social security check. Here's what I got going out, here's my bills. And there's no way to cut the bills down to make it work. The second option is let me go to the portfolio, let me go to the pool of money, take a piece of it and create an income stream, put it in a vehicle like an annuity that will provide me regular uh, monthly income to help me balance the bills. So that's step number one. If you can do it, take a portion of your assets, put it into something that will create an income stream. Don't put all your assets in something that will create an income stream because then you don't have the assets anymore. You don't have a great income, but you don't have liquidity. You need to balance all of these things in a good retirement plan. And so create enough income coming in so that you won't have to access that money, or at least you're just gonna have to access a little bit of it uh, as you go through. That's step number one. So the next step, after looking at your sources of income and your expenses, how did you divide up the pool of money? How did you divide up the assets that you have? That's where the bucket plan comes into play. So a bucket plan, gonna segment our money out into three different buckets. Money for now, that's readily accessible. That's bucket number one type of money. Money in the bank, things that aren't subject to fluctuation or market volatility. Uh, that's money that's there and it's available to you. Depending on how much you have in the bucket, you can say, okay, I've got X amount of expenses. Six months, 12 months, 18 months, two years of money right here that I can access without worrying about what's going on in the stock market which is your bucket three money. That's your growth strategy money. The key with the bucket plan is that you're gonna create divisions between buckets one, two, and three, and your, your growth assets, your things that have the most fluctuation, that are down the most right now, are living in bucket number three. And here's the thing, you want those in your plan because that gives you the growth and the upward potential over the long run, uh, because future you needs that growth. But you don't have to access that money to pay the bills at a time that is inopportune in a good plan. That money can sit there and you can say, okay, it's down right now, but I don't need it right now. It's similar to when you're working and you say, here's my money in my 401 and it's down, uh, but I'm not that worried about it. I hear from clients all the time when they're working or clients who are now retired who say, well, you know, before I didn't worry about it so much because it wasn't money for now, it was money for the future. Well, that's what bucket three is, even if you're already retired. The key is segmenting out your assets into those buckets to meet the plan and the, the goals and the objectives that you have in retirement. And that also helps lower the temperature in a time like this. It helps you feel a little bit uh, uh, better about the way things are going on because you say, okay, I know that I've got my sources of income coming in and going out, so I feel comfortable with that. I've got my backup. I've got bucket number one money that I can access and I don't have to worry about the market being down. And I do have those growth assets, but I don't need to touch them right now. I don't have to sell anything when it's on sale. That's what a good retirement income plan looks like. Making sure that you're properly diversified, there's a lot more that goes into it than that, but this will give you a baseline of what you need to do if you're concerned right now about a down market and you're starting to access money and it's all just in one lump. It's all just in one blob. Here's my portfolio uh, and I just, I just pull from it and hope that things will go back up. Hope is not a strategy. We've talked about that before. Get yourself a strategy. This is one way that you can do it. Uh, I hope that you found some insight in the video today. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of stuff about retirement plans, bucket plans, uh, creating a retirement income stream, taxation, all of that stuff uh, on the channel. Lots of good videos out there. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon.